Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to show you guys another glitch in Cyberpunk 2077. And this glitch allows you to farm money incredibly quickly. It actually will allow you to get around 3 million eddies an hour. And first off, you're going to have to be a decent way through the main campaign because you're going to have to be on one of the main campaign missions that's called I Walk the Line. And this mission is going to take you to a mall filled with enemies, and you're going to want to kill all those enemies and complete clear the area and as you see in the footage once you get to a certain part of the mission after clearing out pretty much the entirety of the mall it's going to take you to a boss called Matilda and I would recommend creating a few new saves while going through this mission just in case you mess up any part of doing the glitch you can go back to an older save and not have an issue and I'd recommend saving once before you get to the boss as well and then you're just going to kill the boss she's only melee so she was pretty easy for me she does have a lot of health but just use your dash anytime she lunges at you she has a crit spot on her back so she's pretty easy to kill overall and then once you kill her she's going to fall on the ground and you can loot her now once she's on the ground you can see her still moving around so she's alive this is where the glitch comes in how this glitch actually works is that boss Matilda is actually worth a 30,000 eddy bounty you can actually scan most NPCs and it will show you if they have a bounty or not but after you have already downed her you can loot her she's still moving around on the ground so you can finish her off to get that 30,000 eddy bounty to shoot her in the head a few times or melee her. Sometimes it doesn't show the eddies being given to you correctly at the bottom left. So go in your inventory and check if you got those eddies. And now what you're going to do is you're going to create a new save and then load back into that new save and then do it again. After every time you kill her, you're going to get 30,000 eddies, but then you're going to create a new save, overwrite the save that you have that you first made when you first killed her to get the bounty. So constantly overwrite that save after you kill her and get the eddies for whatever reason every time you reload into that save she's still going to be considered alive and you're going to be able to kill her again she's just on the ground so you just shoot her a few times or melee her once or twice and it will then kill her again give you that bounty again giving you 30,000 eddies every time you do this which is absolutely ridiculous and you can do it pretty quickly the game doesn't have that slow of loading at least on my pc so you can do it really quickly i'm able to do this in around 35 Five seconds every run once I got used to creating a new save then loading back into that save and that's pretty much all you do you just load back into that save shoot her again finish her off get that 30,000 eddy bounty then you're going to overwrite that save again then load back into that save and that's all you're going to have to do and it's going to give you 30,000 eddies every time you finish her off now with me on my pc being able to do this in around 35 seconds I can make 3 million eddies in an hour if I keep that consistency. I could actually make a little bit more, but I did round down the number to 100 runs of killing her in that hour. 3 million eddies. The last glitches I went over at the high end were making you like 200,000 eddies in an hour, maybe a little bit over that. I don't think there's probably going to be many glitches in this game that allow you to make that much money in that quick amount of time. That's pretty much all the glitch. I'm going to have some footage at the end of going through the mission, then killing the boss a few times so you guys can see it. So subscribe if you want to see more cyberpunk or other videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think about this glitch. And thanks for watching.